how to mesh that, we go to meshing just below modeling and click mesh tools. Here's basically what we want. You could almost do everything using the meshing tool. And first of all, uh, uh, do you want to do a uniform meshing? No, no, because on those parts, we could do very coarse me meshing because the pressure won't go that far. But actually, uh, at the left up corner, the pressure will be you know pretty complex. So we want to mesh it very pretty fine. The distance between each nodes are pretty small here, but distance between each nodes are pretty large here. So we want to do the size control on lines. We click set, and we put it here. Okay, we choose this line, and we want this line to be divided to like uh, ten, no, like ten uh, elements. Here's number of element. Here's element edge length. I want to do the number of element. I want to, to let it do it equally. So I just click OK. Nothing to change. OK. And it's zoom. Just zoom it. OK. And click line set again and choose this one. Here is where the strip load will apply. So I want to do it finer. So, OK, maybe five. That would be good. Five dimensions for this area. I want to do it, you know, uh, equally. And for this line, I really want, oh, sorry, maybe I clicked the area setting. Oh, before I do that, I want to say I really want here the, the, the interval are pretty narrow, but here I want pretty wide interval. So let me show you how to do that. We click set and we choose this line, click OK, and here we want this uh, line to be divided to, for example, how many? 20. Okay, no, let's make it too small to be 30. And here is space, that's spacing ratio. That basically means uh, the the element at one end over the element at the other end, and the ratio is that. So if we want to be to to use uneven element and uh, pretty small at one side, large at s side, we want to put some large number here, like ten. And for this, I'm a little confused because I really couldn't figure out which direction answers goes. So I just put number here and clicked OK. So we could see that the coarse ones are at the left and, and the final one at the right. That's basically not what we want. But here's a pretty easy way to do this. Let's flip and click this and click OK. So it flipped here. That's pretty good, right? So after this, we want to do something on the left line. Left vertical line, choose this. And we want to divide this line to, uh, to, to 15, the spatial be a little lower to five and click OK. Now here we got what, what we want. It's pretty good. Find out the top and the coarser at the bottom. So after this we just defined the uh, uh, the nodes on the lines we want to specify and after this we want to mesh it. We want to automatically mesh it. We choose this area, we click OK and it mesh it like this. Do we think this is pretty good or no? Maybe you think it's not enough because here is not uh, as as fine as you think. We want to refine this area. Don't worry, that will be pretty straightforward. You click the magnifier, and you click where you want to see more. See the uh, at the center, and you drag. Okay. Uh, maybe a bit smaller. Move this so we know where we are. And for the meshing tool, here is refine. We need to refine something. We put. Uh, draw a box here. We want to refine things on here. So refine, do the minimal refine. And OK. Let's see. OK. This looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, reasonable meshing here. And that's good. So I uh, next step, I will apply lows. OK. So let's go to solution, go to define load, apply. Here's structural load. Okay, first of all, we want to we'll apply the constraints. So it will be like online. So we choose this line and choose this line. 
as we know, all the degree of freedom are constrained. So we put a zero here, which is displacement value. Because okay, you see here's a little mark around here. And online again and choose this line. Click OK. And as we know, here we really don't want the, the soil to move like uh, to the left or to the right because it's inf infinite. So we want but it could move up and down. So we just want to constrain at x direction and the value is zero. And I click OK. You couldn't see anything because the color is the same. That's a bad design, but well, when you just plot lines, you could see it. Okay, just tell you, even though you see no marks, it is there. Sure. So we apply our constraints and we want to apply our loads to pressure and on lines. We really want to magnify here. And we want to choose this line. Click OK. So we, uh, we apply pressure, so constant value pressure. And pressure, after my calculation, the pressure should be 50 kilopascal. So it would be 5 times 4 pascal. Here's the pressure. And if it is not constant, ever not uniform distribution. It's like uh, you know, triangle distribution or something. You you should use this blank. But now here is uniform distribution. So we just keep it blank and we say okay. And by the way, the the uh, direction of the the pressure, the pressure always uh, goes inwards in the material if you use positive number. So here when it goes down towards the soil, so I use. A positive number. It's not a direction of y, of the y coordinate. It's just direction towards the material. Okay, we see the little arrow here. Okay, just click cancel, and we can see here's our meshing. We plot multi plots. Here we got. Okay, the next step should be actually solving the problem. So I choose uh, solve and the current. LS means, uh, oh, I forgot, loading steps. Yeah, load steps. Sure, click OK, wait to execute it. It's done. That's basically how to solve that. And then we need to go to the post process. First of all, we want to read results. Maybe in large project, we have different set of results, but here we just have one. But in consistent, we should click first result. OK, it is. And then we, what we really want to do is plot result, uh, deformed shape. We want to deform the shape with undeformed edge. We click OK, and we see deforms like this. If somebody says, wow, it's ridiculous. It's the, what soft soil? But you know, the, uh, uh, it's not the real scale. It's magnified scale to, be, you know, to show you how it will deform. So we go to contour plot, no the solo. Solution we go stress and we go to the most commonly used von Mises stress and here we can the scale factor We want to use true scale and click OK. You see there's no uh, things like very uh, um, fine very uh, Unreasonable unreal because it is the real fa real factor so We want to magnify here we see, okay, here, here, what we got. Uh, we see we got pretty uh, large pressure at here, pretty, pretty large pressure there, and there it is. So you could, you know, list the result, and the other things, that's not a solution. Stress, we want wide dimension stress, click OK, and the list all the wide dimension uh, stress as the every nose, that's pretty good, and you, you can find the pressure at each nose. That's basically how to do a very simple problem in ANSYS, and I hope you find this very pretty useful. And I want to save this. Let's save, save as. So, finish. Click OK. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Okay, hope you like it. Thank you.